Do you want to take your hit before you do it, honey? Sure. Oh, nothing. I was actually just going to ask you to look the stream up for me so I could see if it, what it was, what it would actually look like, but it's fine. And how do I do that? You just go, you could look for Facebook. I think I just posted a link on Facebook. Um... Or you could just type in my actual name on YouTube. It should take you to my channel. All right. <coughs> All right. Huh? What'd you say? It says live. Okay, is it showing the video? Okay, yeah. But you don't see any, like, fuck, whoa, whoa. No, it's just the video. Okay. Okay, that's touchpad. Got it, okay. Let's fucking go explore it. What are you doing sitting there on the floor, Mistress Lara? Looking at the compass, thinking. What about, if I may inquire? Just thinking about discovering faraway places, about finding adventure. <laughs> I'm sure you will, my lady. You've the soul of an explorer. But don't grow up too fast. The offer came in the post last week, and I still haven't told Richard. He flew ahead to Tibet, where I will meet him shortly. I never told him I was submitting my work. Never thought there was a chance of being accepted. Oh, but a gallery tour is not something I can pass up. The show will take me away from England for over a year. I'll begin in New York and travel across the United States and... Oh, God! I'm giddy even writing these words. When Rich and I were married, I was prepared to relegate my painting to a hobby, but it was Richard who objected, who gave me my atelier and studio. Without that support, I might still be painting boring landscapes. Now I can't shake the foolish sensation that leaving would be a betrayal. He will laugh at that and insist I accept even though I know it will break his heart to be a part. He never once asked me to sacrifice. Hey Jonah, sorry for not getting back to you sooner. I've decided to do some research at the manor. A lot has happened and I need... Got to remember to pack this for my next trip. A 
How do I use that? There we go. Should be able to explore the dark now. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Doors out. Huh. What is that? Okay. Lara, since your return from your expedition to Yamatai, I've grown increasingly alarmed at your erratic behavior. I can only assume you suffered some kind of psychological trauma and are only acting out as a call for help. I want you to... Another one of Dad's immortality artifacts. I think Roth bought this for him from a trader in Greece. Do, 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 do. Shit, you know what I just thought about? If there's a bad guy in this game, I'm actually gonna have to fucking duck. God damn it. Hmm, not sure. I really need to brush up on my ancestors one of these days. gets to me in the long run is the fact that I can just stand down here and actually look all the way down and and, and see into that other freaking room down there. Shut up. No, I was talking to the game, the camera. It's like pointing with an arrow, a fucking arrow. Uh, it's like, look over here! Look over. And no. I'll look it over here. I don't need you. Fuck your rules. Lara, you know the West Wing is off limits. I'm sorry, I, I just wanted to see. We've been through this. Was Mum's room in here? Ooh. Loot. Of course. Of course, I need the master key. Hmm. This belongs to Anna. Most of her belongings are in the guest house. What was she doing in here? <laughs> Someone has a sense of humor. Oh, 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 there it is. What is that? Stop smoking. <laughs> this fucking guy. This fucking guy.
A phoenix figurine. I bet this appealed to Dad's idea of immortality, of rising from the ashes and being born anew. I actually want to point out the fact that I just jumped and the game actually fucking tracked it. <laughs> What they really need, now I need to get myself one of those like directional treadmills so I can just keep walking. <laughs> so I just be like, yes, I know the door's right there. I saw it already. I finally introduced Richard to the family. And the board. It went. It must have been hard for Mum to go against her family's wishes. Shh. I'm glad she did. What? Sorry. What do you say? I didn't say anything. Okay. What fucking way am I looking at? Am I actually looking at the TV? All right, go, go me. I made it. All right, let's do this thing. Okay, it's dark as shit. Okay, tilt your dual shock four. <laughs> I got a fucking flashlight. Oh my god. These guys. These guys. This shit is. This is the shit I'm talking about. This is pretty cool. I'm about a fucking immersion, dude. Fucking down here. Amelia. Falling apart. Maybe I should just let my uncle have this place. Surprised he asked her to marry him as soon as he got the idea. Of course. Gotta go down there.
Amin. I swear to God, if some little boy comes out here wearing a fucking gas mask and goes, Are you my mommy? I'm going to shit a fucking brick. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the place, and I am not that guy. So I can't get into the box. Okay, good to know. I'm just as creepy as I remember. Alright, alright, you fuckers. Y'all ain't got nothing on fucking Resident Evil. Although this shit, I don't even think I've seen Seven do this, so kudos to that. Poor Winston. I remember being so angry. He was always so patient with me. Shit on me. That rat's getting some. Look at him. You get it, little buddy. King to queen one. I'm going to win this time, Winston. <laughs> Clever girl. Yeah. But you should know by now. What are you doing? Everything. Queen to king's bishop six. Check. Easy for you to say. You always win. Knight takes queen. What I mean to say is try to enjoy the journey, Lara. Don't rush to victory. Bishop to King Seven. I know, Winston. I just want... Oh, no! I didn't even see that! You should also know by now I'm not to be trifled with on this board, young lady. Mate. What I want to know is... Why am I in a wine cellar and getting a thing about chess? That's some pedo shit. I think Laura's got some issues. And I don't think... Yeah. That's, that's downright creepy. Who the fuck plays chess in the cellar? Oh, I am going to win. With a creepy someday. rat. I would play chess with our old butler, Winston, on this board. Never could be. Ill. Oh, fuck, it's the butler. It's the butler. I always chose white. Maybe if I let him go first once in a while, I might have won. I'm telling you. I don't trust them old white people. Sound too bad right about now.
I think I need a crowbar, and I think this is a door. I'm almost positive. Everything. Shit. <coughs> Dad loved a good bottle of wine. Hmm. I can still smell his favorite Bordeaux. of despair. Indeed, Lara. Muster your courage, for this is the only path to the Library of Infinite Knowledge. Look there. See the string? An ancient Egyptian tripwire. The Keepers of Knowledge want none to disturb their treasures. We must tread carefully. Let me lead. I know how to spot all the traps. I'm sure you do, my darling. Lead on! One of the wire traps Winston made for my birthday expedition. <laughs> Winston used my hair ribbons to make this. He and Dad put a lot of work into this birthday surprise. My stuffed bear. I couldn't have a tomb without a mummy.
Got it, okay. Hmm, water damage from the main hall above. Bust of Anubis was from Dad's Egyptian collection. He must have put it down in the basement for our little expedition. to the manor. Dad used to say okay. his granny hated all the bright lights. Hmm, there's a missing page. Amelia left tonight. She... Okay, Dad's ledger has to be in here somewhere. Hopefully it has the combination to the safe. This music is familiar. It's beautiful. It appears Sir Reginald's helmet fell off. Or oh, didn't I put it back properly? For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure, my favorite painting by Amelia, the day of our wedding anniversary. Okay, got to find those objects to figure out the combination to the safe. Dad's lighter. I don't remember him ever using it, though. The Croft family crest and initials BC. I wonder if this belonged to my grandfather. Okay, should be able to light the fireplace now. this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. No. This was always one of my favorite books in this library. I used to trace hieroglyphs. See, let me see. These two myths are referencing the same source material. One of Winston's notes. He always hit sweets for me to find. But 
where did I see this image? Dad, I think it's this one, in the chapter on Egyptian districts. Why, yes, I think you're right, Lara. I remember the page with the illustration of Ra. I've reached the monastery. As hmm, Dad was looking for an elixir. Was it the elixir of life? This is my handiwork. I used to love drawing pictures of tigers. Spent so many hours in here, reading, dreaming of my own adventures. Behold! I am magic. I know. See? Look at where I am.
I am magic. What? Oh, yeah. All right, Tim, don't break the game. <laughs> I've created. Hmm, blank, except for the image of a key. I remember this map now. It leads to the master key, but we made it with a special kind of invisible ink. Hmm, I think I stashed one of Winston's master keys in here when I was a kid. Fire, I need fire. Special kind of ink that probably burns under a certain light or under flame. I can see the map. Looks like the key is hidden under a trunk near the bookcase. X marks the spot, as they say. I've created a clever little map for Lara's birthday expedition. I used the invisible ink Amelia picked up for me in Morocco so many years ago. How do I find the truth? I can see the map. Looks like the key is hidden under a trunk near the bookcase. The master key. This should get me into the West Wing. All right. A lot more this should you. open most rooms in the manor, including the forbidden West Wing. Let me see, let me see. 
These two myths are referencing the same source material. But where did I see this image? This picture was taken in the library. Eighteen twenty additions to the main hall in progress. Hmm. Dad, I think it's this one. In the chapter on Egyptian districts. Why, yes. I think you're right, Lara. The Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six? Eight? Hmm. I think this hieroglyph corresponds to a number, but which one? Okay, Dad's clues mention Mum's paintings and their anniversary. Hopefully I can find some answers in the West Wing. This was always one of Dad's map of the forgotten city. Dad's book. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six? Eight? I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. I 
I do not see. I see five. The Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six, eight. Remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. Go with eight, I guess. There wasn't a fireplace in there. Lara, you know the West Wing is off limits. I'm sorry, I, I just wanted to see. We've been through this. Was Mum's room in here? Just stay out of there, darling. Dad was always so protective of the West Wing. Family crest.
Mistress Lara. Honey? Yeah. There was a box down here for me or not. So the Atelier. Dad sealed it soon after she died. Untouched for years, exactly as she left it. I stood up to my family's criticism. I don't have any memory of this. I wish I could remember doing this. Mom died too young. Mum's paintings. Which one was Dad's favorite? I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say I returned to my family's home. Atlas was there, in one of his foul moods. And even as he dripped venom for Richard with his cruel barbs, I could only laugh. To think that I once listened to my bitter brother in matters of my own happiness. My dismissal only served to infuriate him more. I left him there in father's study, muttering... Hmm, blocks of red. Dad's favorite painting. Maybe something about that painting will help me figure out the combination.
You've almost got it, darling. Here, let me show you. Like this, see? <laughs> well done, Lara. Well done. I wonder how my life would have been different had she lived. Mom with me is a baby. I've never seen this. Hard to believe I was ever that small. This was for a show in London of Mum's work. What I wouldn't give to see this today. Hmm, it says here, Amelia Croft plans to show her work in New York. I want I'm glad I still have so much of Mum's work. With Amelia gone. After Thing Atlas has done. How could you tell him about the end? This is Dad. Fisher. My mother's perfume. <laughs> Mum, on her wedding day, she looks so beautiful. There's a date. October something. Damn, the number is faded. Her anniversary was in October, but which day? Oh, I can't believe I don't know this. There's got to be another clue somewhere. I remember this. Dad gave it to Mum on her birthday. October 13th. Mum. Hmm, pretty sure my parents were married in October. I think it was close to her birthday. I believe it took this trip to push me. Okay, back to the study to open that safe. Amelia. Mum's wedding ring. I always wondered what happened to it. The inscription is faded. I am bursting with pride. Amelia is with child. It is amazing how everything in life can change with such a simple... Dad may have discovered the secret to immortality without even knowing it. Dad, what do you keep in there? Nothing too important, Lara. Estate business and such. If it's not important, then why bother putting it in a safe? I should know better than to try and pull one over on you. There is something important in here. And it's for you, should you need it someday. Well, let's hope you came through for me, Dad.
Mm, no, that's not it. No, that didn't work. The answer has to be in the clues. Mm, no, that's not it. Okay. I returned home this afternoon <gasps> to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say I returned to my family's home. Atlas was there, in one of his foul moods, and even... For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure, my favorite painting by Amelia, the day of our wedding anniversary. Okay, found all the clues. Let's see if I can figure this out. No, that didn't work. The answer has to be in the clues. Mm, no, that's not it. No, that didn't work. The answer has to be in the clues. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, seeing him at his best and his worst. I've experienced the pure... I returned home this afternoon to collect the... Mm, no, that's not it. No, that didn't work. The answer has to be in the clues. I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say I returned to my family's home. Atlas was there, in one of his foul moods. And even as he dripped venom for Richard with his cruel barbs, I could only laugh. To think that I once listened to my bitter brother in matters of my own happiness. My dismissal only served to infuriate him more. I left him there in father's study, muttering to himself. On the drive back, as Winston took a longer route through the country, I looked through my paintings. Richard's favorite one among them, a simple abstract with blocks of red. I smiled, thinking about giving it to him. I was happy, and I was going home. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, seeing him at his best and his worst. I've experienced the purity and chaos of his passion.
for God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure, my favorite painting by Amelia, the day of our wedding anniversary. <clears throat> Not it. No, that didn't work. The answer has to be in the clues. Yeah, I've looked and looked and looked and looked. Huh? I thought you said something. Okay. We have four squares. 
on this red block piece of shit. just all been too much. I needed to talk to someone. He's still my brother. I don't trust him. You don't have to, Richard. But please, trust me. I'm sorry, my dear, but I know him. He'll take it to the papers. The investors will pull out. Then go. Without me. Tonight. I will take care of Atlas. And then meet you in Tibet next week. I was so young, but I still remember that terrible argument. It wasn't always an easy road for my parents. Well, so I got a cutscene, but no fucking information. That's fucking great. I remember this. Dad gave it to Mum on her birthday. October 13th. The Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six? Eight? Remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a sim five in the center and then three will be eight. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, seeing him at his best and his worst. 
I've experienced the purity and chaos of his passion. And I came to realize I want his passion in my life every day. <laughs> so it's done. Richard wanted to wait another four days until my birthday, but I wouldn't have it. Once I make a decision, I prefer to get on with it. So we found a small chapel in Luxor that was just right. And with Roth and the... Okay. So the 13th. That's not it. No, that didn't work. The answer has to be in the clues. Mm, no. That's not it. That worked. It makes me happy to know that Dad kept us safe. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I am numb. It is taking all my willpower to hold back the overwhelming grief. Amelia's plane crashed in the mountains. She died alone in the snow, waiting for me to find her. Oh God, not her, not now. I cannot accept it. Life without her is too painful to imagine. I know what must be done. And I am resolved. I'm going to bring her back. Perhaps this is why I am here. Perhaps this is fate. A test of my faith in the truth I've sought for so long. Roth. Dad, what did you do? Dad's sequel to his first book on immortality. He never got a chance to publish it. Handwritten. This is the only copy. Damn, this isn't it either. I was certain there had to be a will in here. Wait, what's that? Hmm, a blank page. Dad must have left this for me. It has to be important. So what happens if I just try to walk off the edge? Nothing. Should've guessed. Should've guessed. A hidden message. A wine cellar? What are these strange marks? They have to be some kind of clue. Okay. I remember this now. Each district four, in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I one, two, four. Yeah, that's the way I came down. Uh, 
Huh? I can't hear you. Oh, okay. That thing, I bet you, that's what's gonna fucking open up. message. That worked. I was right. You know, it's not a secret passage when you call this shit out at the beginning of your playthrough. This is not very secret, guys. It's not very secret. Damn. Locked in. This just to keep his research safe. Wow. Rock samples. The missing page from the renovation plans. They didn't want anyone outside the family knowing about this crypt. Yeah, apparently you are not part of the family, Laura. Dad's Tibetan scroll. I remember he used to pour over this late into the night. Because you didn't get to know about this. Might be able to use this oh, to hey. access other parts of the manor. Hell yeah. There's an inscription. This is the Croft universe. Our knowledge is to the east. Our respite to the west. Our future is to the south. Our past is to the north. Our past to the north. Could there be something else beneath the manor? Amazing. Even in here, Dad went out of his way to hide his findings. Dad's collected knowledge. There must be so many secrets hidden in here. Richard, I tried to see you in person last week, but your manservant hustled me away like some common tout peddling silverware. This was part of a set of statues Dad found in China. He thought it was linked to the Temple of Xi'an. Mm. 
Yeah, did you just call? Alright, almost there, tell me when you're here. You father mucker. Did you come in the mine house? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, there's that. And there's Perhaps that. I should look into it someday. Hmm. All right. Oh yeah, go Laura. You so strong. I was gonna say, this is a fucking basement. What the fuck? Hi, Dad. So I know I only just returned to school, but when can I come out to the dig site again? It's just so boring here. I'm gonna just take a bath. I'm at a crossroads now. Good lord, that's such a cliche. Ah. Well, that's booty. Lord Croft is resolved.
Our knowledge is to the east, our respite to the west. Our future is to the south, our past is to the north. Incredible. This crypt was here all along. <clears throat> I... My god, can it be? Dad, you did bring her home. My dearest Lara, it is difficult to write this, knowing these may only ever be words on a page to you. I wonder if you will remember my voice. Will you remember the way we used to play and laugh? Will you remember me comforting you when you were sad? Know that I'm still with you, Lara. My energy, my love. It's within you. It always will be. Use that energy to pursue your passions in life. Never let others determine your journey. You become who you are through your choices. Through the love you give, and the promises you keep. I hope you are happy. That you are loved and successful in whatever it is you choose to do. I am proud of you, my darling. Remember me. With all my love, your mother. Lara, I have received the notarized affidavit confirming Amelia's grave and the discovery of the burial crypt within the manor premises. While I can't fathom why your father would hide your mother's fate from her own family, I cannot deny that any legal claims I may have had on the estate are now null and void. Croft Manor and the remainder of your father's assets are now yours in perpetuity to do with as you wish. If there comes a time when you require assistance in managing the estate, I hope you will consider contacting me to retain my services. Sincerely, your uncle. I've been so focused on defying my uncle, of fighting to keep his hands off this manor, that I never realized how much this place actually means to me. But since I've been here, I can feel the presence of my mother and father. I sense the entire history of my family and the deep roots we have in this place. I want to honor my parents. I want to honor all of my ancestors. The Croft family may be all but destroyed, but I will make our name and our home great again.
Excellent.